it belongs to. It's a cylinder. These are dimensions, the interior, because that's where the water or the, where the drink fits in. We would work out the volume needed to fill the glass. And so the volume will equal the area of the cross section, that will be the circle. And then I, I have to times it by the length, which will be times it by 15. So I need to work out the area of the cross section. So it's a circle. You could draw it if you wanted to. The radius is 3 because the diameter is 6. And I have to work out the area circle. So uh, pi r squared sounds like area to me. It's so a pi r squared. So it's pi times the radius squared, which is three squares, and that gives me twenty-eight point two seven four three. Goes on. That's the area of the cross section. So the volume is twenty-eight point two seven four three three. Whatever that number is, times it by fifteen is four hundred and twenty-four. One one five. It doesn't say what accuracy, so that will do. Is it possible to pour the entire contents of a half liter? Well, a half liter is um, a liter's a thousand, and so that will be five hundred milliliters, or which, or which is exactly the same as five hundred centimeters cubed into this glass. Well, it's not, is it? Absolutely not. It's five hundred here. The volume is four hundred twenty-four. 424 it won't fit in not possible um, and it, but even that's just shown it's only one mark but just putting down that half a litre is 500 milliliters and seeing that that's the end of the paper